Hi there and welcome to another episode of FireClimb.com. In today's video we are going to see how you can you brief an SID for your departure. We're going to brief the SID of Girona, this is a simulation, this is a flight that I'm doing from Girona to uh, Palma de Mallorca. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Alright, so welcome, and if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video. So without further ado, let's see how can you brief this SID chart. As you can see, this is an SID, is a Jepsen chart in Girona. We're going to see how can you brief all of these. We can see and talk about what you should consider regarding this SID, okay? And then we're going to see how can you uh, basically put and brief all this SID and prepare the aircraft for the departure, okay? So let's start. We start from the top right, says this is a Girona uh, in Spain SID chart. We've got effective of 15th of July. The chart is the 10-3 and that was made on the 2nd July 2021. So it's a Girona, okay? And we've got airport elevation 469, transition altitude 6,000 feet. So let's check if the transition altitude is on the box. As you can see in here, we've got transition altitude 8, 18,000 feet. So we need to change that because the transition altitude needs to be correct. Okay, so I made separate videos about transition altitude. Okay, so if you don't know the meaning of this, just go there and check that out. Okay, so then what it says, run with 20. So in this case, at the moment we've got running 19. I don't know why it says run with 20, but whatever. Expect closing obstacle. This is warning us that uh, during the departure we can expect. Um, obstacles okay so maybe mountains and so on all right so now in here we are briefing our departure is going to be for the bagur 5 hotel so the bagur 5 hotel is this one between brackets you can actually find the code that you've got inside your fmc in fact if you look at here it says bravo golf romeo 5 hotel is the same as the fmc one okay so beautiful now let's see so say speed 250 below flat level 100. So we need to check that as well. So you come in here, you press in it ref, all right? And then, and then sorry, you, you press climb and then you should check that during the climb we have the speed restriction of 250 below flat level 100. So we cannot actually go faster than 250 knots, all right? So then we've got the Bagul 5 Hotel. So what we need to do then, we need to uh, figure it out which is the Bagul 5 Hotel. And since we're departing from running one niner, okay, it must be this one in here, okay? So in fact, as you can see in here, it says Bagul 5 Hotel. And let's see what is says okay so this SID has got a minimum required minimum climb gradient of the Bagur 5 hotel is going to be 6.2 percent up to Bagur and Bagur is this one Bravo Golf from 112 decimal 2 so we can actually start doing this and set 112 here we go decimal 2 active on the one because I'm sure we're gonna need that okay so beautiful. So then what it says, in order to calculate what is our vertical speed that we need for the departure in order to comply with the minimum climb gradient that we just discussed, the 6.2% of Tubagur, depending on our a ground speed we're gonna have to maintain a different vertical speed throughout the climb okay in our case since it says 6.2 percent all the way up to Bagul we need to come in here say 6.2 percent that means that we need a vertical speed okay a feet for minutes of around and then it depends on your speed so if you're flying a 75 knots you need 471 feet for minutes during climb in order to comply with the 6.2 climb gradient in our case we're gonna climb between 250 and 200 so we're gonna need around 1500 uh, 1500 feet for minutes okay i'm sure and i know the 737 is gonna be very uh, we're gonna be able to do that okay most, most, most probably gonna climb up to 3000 3500 feet for minutes especially at the beginning all right beautiful so then let's see what is the route all right it says bagul 5 hotel running 100 and we saw that we had the bagul 5 hotel in our uh, fmc it says Climb on Golf India Romeo Radial 1 and F4 all the way down to 6 nautical miles. Golf India Romeo is Girona VOR and this is this one, okay? 
this white line is the runway so it's slightly behind the runway so we need to climb on the 104 all the way down to the six nautical miles okay so what we can actually do now since we know this okay what we can do we can actually change the frequency on the nav one because this is the nav one okay the first nav the radio where you set the vr frequencies and we can put 14 decimal one there active because it's the first radial that we need to intercept and guys I made a separate video talking where I talk about how you can intercept your radials. I did as well a full flight and then I I actually did a video regarding Kudi Mike Kudi Roma. So watch them and you will have a better understanding about uh, about VOR radials and how can you intercept them. Okay. So now beautiful. We can actually go back in here and in here. So what we have to do? So we were saying climb 104 to 6 nautical miles. We discussed that. Then it says stand left. 092 track as you can see in here is 092 track okay to intercept and follow the radial 242 inbound bagur the radial 242 inbound means that we need to intercept the 062 2 because the radial is 242 however we are going inbound if you are okay so we need to intercept the reciprocal the 062 2 okay so now the other frequency that we need is, is the 112 decimal 2. So again, we come down on the radios and we make sure we've got the on the nav 2 because this is the second, the second frequency, the 112 decimal 2. Okay. So now if you are wondering how can you actually set up your MCP, the 737 MCP, you need simply to select the first radial that you need to intercept and we said it was the 194, you set that in here in the first course. Okay. 104 beautiful and then on the second radial okay because then after the 092 we need to intercept the 062 2 which is the 242 radial we need to we, we need to set the 062 on the course number two all right beautiful so as you see on top of uh, on the chart you don't have only the root but you've got our, as well these numbers in there that means that at the six nautical miles over golf in the room you need to be 1700 feet or above during the turn you need to be maximum 210 knots after the turn you can accelerate and then you have to fly over bravo golf romeo at an altitude uh, sorry a flight level 100 or above all right so what you need to do what you can do actually and take one step further is that if you have if you have the sd on the fmc you can actually go down here all right press legs page okay and in here you can actually check out check check out if you got all the points on the fmc all right because we set up this sd on the fmc and what you can do is uh, is the following okay as you can see in here that's the runway okay and the first point is this one okay so the d this d104 foxtrot what does it mean the 104 is the radial and foxtrot is this distance from the point of uh, reference which is golf in the room in our case and the, why you're saying yeah but that is not a distance is a letter yes but look at here so 104 the sd is saying that we need to Flat, follow the 104 all the way down to six nautical miles all right so if you look at the keyboard of your fmc the letter foxtrot okay is here okay and if i tell you that every letter is one nautical miles you can simply now uh, see that the foxtrot means six nautical miles so alpha is one nautical mile two nautical miles three nautical miles uh, four nautical miles, five nautical miles, six nautical miles. So this point in here means radial 104, Foxtrot means six nautical miles. So you now you know how the FMC works and how the, does the FMC things, okay? Because it, 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 what, what it wants to tell us is that at the Fox is the six nautical miles point. Then we have the al uh, altitude, minimum altitude of 1,700 feet, A means or above. Then it says left onto the 092, track 092 track to intercept the radial 062 inbound bravo golf rome where we need to be at flight level 100 or above 100 or above is in there 100 or above is in the chart in there as well and then on top of that we can see that during the turn as the sid was saying we need to be maximum 210 knots and we've got the 210 knots in there okay so now 
as you can see okay and if you really want to do a step uh, uh, even even better you can you can increase the range and you will see the root okay so you really let me do this because maybe it's a little bit clear okay so you can see that we're gonna depart we're gonna go on the radial one and four let me let me do this okay we're gonna depart on running one nine which is indicated in there we're gonna go all the way down to the radial 104 fox dot point six nautical miles left and then we intercept 062 and we go inbound here we go bagur so all the points and there we've got 1700 feet on the fox root point all right okay guys so the last thing that we need to consider when briefing an SID is actually the terrain okay so normally in other SID you have the msa in here that you got a quadrant in there but in this case you don't have it in there okay but what you've got in there you've got these red lines okay and these what are saying these red lines these red lines saying that if you are in this sector okay so the sector from 0 to 8 all the way with to the two to three okay you can you need to, you have an msa of 4600 feet that means that your minimum altitude in case you low you lose the uh, visual reference is 4600 feet okay if you are in this sector is 7700 and this sector is 9600 okay so for our case, our MSA is going to be 4,600 feet. If you don't know what an MSA is, I made a separate video. Please give, go there and watch that. And uh, guys, I hope you now understand a little bit better how can you brief and prepare your ICAT for a uh, departure brief in the SID. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also, go to pilotcrime.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.